to kind of DSM and, the, and not be in the room, you know. No, and, uh, and it was a big task. Do you want to go from black as in lights up on me? <laughs> go for it. So will you take out the... So here we are on the set of um, the play that I worked on for Fish Amble called Maz and Bricks. It's a really great piece written by a young uh, female writer, Eve O'Connor. Tara, our stage manager, is a woman. She's operating for us now, thankfully. And we have a female writer, female lighting designer, female stage manager and female set designer. So uh, it's a very female heavy crew, which is great. Here you can see um, the lights are on in the rig. The lights for this show have been pre-programmed, so what you're seeing moving at the moment are pre-plotted cues to do with the action of the piece. And the light follows their story and their, their physical journey, but also what's happening in terms of where they are in their head. Telling a story through light, that's what drives me. In some ways, it's like, I feel like maybe an artist in some way in that I have a bigger picture I use technology like a tool to create a stage picture but every, every way all the steps along the way involve me using my computer or using uh, lighting desks so I'll start off I'll draft a plan of the theatre where all of the lighting bars are where all the lights are going to go where exactly in relation to the set what's the best angle what's going to give me a really interesting slant I use technology. I don't think of it as a means to, to itself. It's, it's a means to an end, to enable me to do what I want. But I also, there's a huge part of me that loves the technical end of it. I worked it with a little theatre company in Ballina, where I'm from. There was this French couple who were amazing and they really inspired me that just a different way of life is possible. They didn't have to have a nine to five and kind of join the rat race and do, do everything the same as everybody else. I always wanted to, to get out of that and not really be part of that and have time to have my own thoughts and to sort of develop my own path. And they showed me that they, that you could do that, there was this whole other world available. And so kind of just changed my mind about everything and in my Leaving Cert year I decided to study drama and theatre studies and I went to, to college in Trinity. And I immediately got involved more in the technical there, I just loved even hauling all the lights up to the grid and hanging them. I just immediately, as soon as we started putting lights up, I knew that that's what I wanted to do. Um, and so I remember operating the lighting board, just like sitting in the dark, waiting for the designer to point the light in the right direction and even it lighting the ladder or hitting, you know, things on the space and just smoke and haze and, and just thinking it was so magical and so amazing how you could change things up so quickly at the tap of a button, a set can look completely different. Um, you know, like once the set is built ostensibly, it's a three-dimensional object that, that just kind of stays the same. But with light at the touch of a button, you can completely transform that space and you can make it look a completely different colour, a different shape even. So it's, there's a little bit of magic and mystery involved with lighting. So I would say that I am half and half. I think it's important to go to college. In some ways, it, it all the reading that I did and the people that I met, it enabled me to think conceptually and to hold my own with directors maybe more so than if um, if I had just started out as crewing and working my way up that way. But at the same time, it's a job that you need to do. You need to get practical experience at it. You can't sit in college and learn about it without being hands-on and doing it. Um, there's only so much you can talk about lighting. You have to actually do it and program it and manipulate it to see what it can do. I think the freelance world suits me. Like I, I teach on a master's, I teach lighting design to the uh, Lear Academy, um, the master's program there. And um, I started that four years ago and it was from scratch, like it was a new course. I, I also have a child, I have a six year old. So at the time I'd just gotten married and I thought oh, it would be a great idea to have a real job and a steady job and I took on a contract for, it was just for a year, but with this understanding that I would continue to do it. And I was doing it for maybe a week and I felt like this major panic attack. And I didn't, I was like, what is going on? And then I realized because I've freelanced my whole life, I've like the opposite of what most people feel like that about freelancing, that they couldn't handle the idea that they wouldn't know what they would be doing from one week to the next. But I actually couldn't handle the idea that I would know what I would be doing. And I had responsibilities for a year. So 
my life, I guess, is the freelance thing suits me. I love to, to work in really short, sharp bursts on, on something and work really intensely and intensively and then have a little bit of a down period and then go into the next thing. I would completely, I'd recommend lighting design to anybody. Like, I think it's the best, I honestly do think it's the best job in the world. Like, it's fantastic. I, I think it's, like I said, it's, it's melding technology with play. So you get to play, it's like a, it's like um, what we call in Ireland, Morla. Like, you get to mould, mould with light. And apart from that, it's great fun. The systems that, that, that I've talked about in theatre are very com comradely. Like, um, you're all thrown together for a very short period of time and it's, it's, um, it's really inclusive and you can be yourself and you can talk about what's really going on with you and somehow that comes out in your work. And so I think it's a really important job. It's, it, it, any facet of theatre is really, really important. And I would say to any girl who's in any way interested in doing something different with their lives, go for it. It's absolutely the best thing you'll ever do. You can, um, you can do, and it doesn't have to be difficult. I don't find it difficult. Like some people look at, well, if we're plotting and they look at the board and they think, oh my God, that's so complicated. You know, how can you ever do that? To me, it's just simple because you, you learn it as you go along. And it's, n I was never, growing up, I was never a particularly technical person. Um, but somehow it came my way and I took to it. And so it doesn't have to be a big, scary thing that you need to learn everything about. Okay, so um, I had to leave this show uh, slightly early because I was working on another show in New York and it was a, it's a piece called Novelli's War and it's this beautiful um, but very, very dark show uh, about war ostensibly. It's for kids, so it's a magic show about war for children. So I just think it's a really amazing piece and I brought my daughter to New York to, um, to experience the whole thing and generally she's quite afraid of theatre. Like, uh, she used to always say to me, are you going to your dark work, mummy? She really doesn't like the thought of me sitting in a dark room um, with all these lights and loud sounds. So I, I was really hesitant about bringing her to this piece of theatre, which I love and I think is really important, but she's six. So I brought her along and I sat beside her and she turned around at the end of the piece and she said, mummy, I'm so proud of you.